السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ جی اسٹوڈنٹس آف اسٹینڈرڈ ٹینتھ ویلکم ٹو دا آن لائن لیکچر سیریز آف ہیرا انگلش اسکول فار دا سبجیکٹ آف سائنس ٹو سو ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس فائلم کاڈیٹا اوکے سو دس اینیملس ہیو سپورٹنگ noto cord in that body very important line to understand all chordates are included in the same phylum the phylum chordata is classified into three sub phyla following are important characters of phylum chordata so up till now what we ever we have discussed about that was regarding phylum till phylum hemichordata now this is the phylum chordata so Notochord is the very important characteristic of this phylum and notochord is present in the body during at least any developmental stage pharyngeal gill slits are present in the body during at least any developmental stage single tubular spinal cord is present on dorsal side of the body dorsal side or the upper side we can call it as heart is present on ventral side of the body or the below the lower side of the body so these are four important characteristics features of phylum chordata so there are three sub phylum let us understand one by one phylum urochordata so these are marine animals their body is converted or the covered by skin like test or tunic okay so the body is covered like skin like formation the larvae of these animals are freely swimming okay you can understand larvae is to as egg and notochord is present only in tail region of larvae hence they are called urochordata okay notochord is present in the tail region larvae metamorphose into adults after settling down at bottom of the sea metamorphose means they undergo change in their physical appearance generally these animals are hermaphrodite means both male and female reproductive organ are found in one same single body okay so these are the features of important points regarding subphylum urochordata moving ahead subphylum cephalochordata so these are small fish like marine animals notochord is present throughout the body length pharynx is very large and contains gill slits these animals are unisexual okay means single uh, reproductive organs are found in body so you can see them the structure the notochord is present throughout okay and you can see the gill slits on the ventral side fine so these are the features of subphylum cephalochordata now we are moving towards a very important subphylum vertebrata in this animals notochord is present by vertebral column in this animals head is well developed okay now see this feature brain is protected by cranium okay cranium is the protective covering for the brain endoskeleton is either cartilaginous or bony okay cartilaginous soft bone or complete bone form found in endoskeleton some chordates are jawless whereas some are with jaws okay some are with jaw and some are jawless so let us see the further class of subphylum vertebrata the very first class is cyclostomata subphylum first uh, vertebrata is divided into six classes Now the first class is cyclostomata these animals have jawless mouth okay so you can see they don't have jaw they don't have jaw and their skin is soft and without any scale okay they don't have scale on their body pad appendages are absent they don't have appendages for the movement endoskeleton is cartilaginous soft bone okay skeleton is made up of soft bone most of the animals are ectoparasite okay they are ectoparasite means they are attached to the body 
host body from outside now let us see the very important class of sub phylum vertebrata class pisces so these are cold blooded aquatic animals living in marine and fresh water body is spindle shaped to minimize water resistance okay so we know about fishes how they look like the body is spindle shaped they have paired and unpaired fins for swimming swimming is being carried out by the process of swimming is being carried out by the pisces as they have fins to do that and tail fin is used as steering organ during swimming to change the direction they use the tail fin exoskeleton is the form of scales exoskeleton the outer covering is okay it's a form of scales and endoskeleton is cartilaginous or bony okay the in, inside skeleton is made up of cartilaginous or bony respiration occurs with gills they have gills over here so they carry out the respiration through this gills okay the best example rohu pomfret shark okay string ray and all these species come under the class of pisces moving ahead class amphibia so these animals are strictly aquatic during larval life and perform only aquatic respiration whereas they can live in water as well as on land during their adult stage and can perform aquatic as well as aerial respiration so they have two dwelling places that's why they are called as amphibia living in water as well as on land so they have pair of appendages two pair of appendages digits are with without claw without claw they don't have any claw so the digits are without claw Exo exoskeleton is absent okay the exoskeleton is absent the skin is without any derivative and usually kept moist for respiration internal ear is absent by tympanum is present neck is absent okay they don't have any neck region eyes are prominent with eyelids the eyes are prominent okay big in shape example frog toad salamander etc so what you should remember about amphibian dwell nature of living the dwell nature of habitat okay two pair of appendages digits are without claws okay the skins are moist moving ahead class reptilia class reptilia according to the course of animal evolution these are first true terrestrial animals okay living on land with creeping movement with creeping movement okay they creep they crawl so they are the first terrestrial true terrestrial animals with creeping movement these are cold blooded animals they creep on land as their body cannot lift it up okay they creep they, their body cannot be lifted up okay the skin is dry and scaly the skins is dry and they have scales on the body neck is present between head and trunk external ear is absent here as well like amphibians digits are provided with claws now here they have digits with claws example tortoise lizard snake etc then moving ahead with the class apes class apes okay so this vertebrates are completely adapted for aerial life okay the life the major part of the life is where they cover the life prey is on air that's why they are said to be adapted for aerial life these are warm blooded they can maintain their body temperature constant the body spindle shape again like pisces to minimize resistance during flight four limbs are modified into wings okay the four limbs of the limbs which are there in the front part of the body is called four limbs and modified into wings digits are covered with scales and bear claws okay the digits are covered with scales and they have claws exoskeleton is present in the form of feathers okay so their outer covering is the form of feathers neck is present between head and trunk okay and jaws are modified into beak jaws are modified into beak so examples all peacock parrot pigeon duck okay so these are the 
class Abe's features. Now the last one, class Mammalia. The presence of mammary glands is typical characters of Mammalia. These animals are warm-blooded. Body is divided into head, neck, trunk, and tail. And presence of hair on the body is a feature of this class animals. Digits are provided with nails, claws, or hoofs. Exoskeleton is in the form of hairs or fur. Okay, very important feature. So presence of mammary glands and presence of hair on the body, exoskeleton part of the body, is the feature of this class Mammalia. Elephant, human, kangaroo, dolphin, bat, etc. All these are the animals belonging to the class Mammalia. So here we have finished this chapter classification of animals. So. I will forward the written part of this chapter in your class WhatsApp group. Write in your notebook by the time. Read this part. Next time we'll discuss the further chapter of the syllabus. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.